Hey. Kst, pst, pst. Hey, it's the Herald News Show. Hey, welcome back to the Herald News Show. I'm Chris. And I'm Heavy. And for the next five minutes, we will be your host. Um, a lot of us have spent considerable time inside the 2D world, even to the point of coming up with an entire map of the world outside of the world. Uh, if, we won't show this to you. I think Zeppos has already showed it in a news show. If you haven't seen that yet, try to find the Uncharted RC3 world. Because when I saw that... That was the moment I understood that this remote thing actually works. It's really, really cool. And I think I can speak uh, for both of us uh, if I say that we are really proud of this entire community. It's very cool. Anyway, in the 2D world, there are a ton of things to explore. And one of those is the CERT, uh, which is an important cornerstone of uh, this entire thing. And uh, to give us a bit more insight, Heavy has talked to Quantum and Dynkox from the CERT. And uh, we'll have that in a second. Right after that discussion, we'll, of course, bring you the traditional proclamation of the next Farplan slots. But first, the CERT. Take it away, Heavy. For those of you which haven't been at a Congress yet, the CERT, the Chaos Emergency Response Team, is the medical team at Chaos Events. With me here are Quantum and Dein Cooks. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having us. What is the visitor of the CERT able to find this year? Oh, well, quite a lot, I think. We don't have a large map, but we have a lot of small maps. And I heard you have also a role play game. How does it work this year? Well, uh, telemedicine is a legal problem in Germany, so we can't offer this. But uh, we can do other things. So we did an RPG, and uh, you can join us as a fictional patient, and we help you with our fictional service uh, personnel. So what is a patient able to do in the CERT? Well, when uh, you enter the CERT, you have a, a disclaimer on a map where you can uh, download a PDF with a patient character sheet from where you can select various illnesses and then come up to a dispatcher or a doctor and tell them and they will try to help you. Imagine I have some kind of illness. What do I do next? Uh, the same thing you would do in a real congress in Leipzig, for example. So we have our dispatcher desk in the front who will uh, welcome you and uh, redirect you to the next uh, qualified angel. Is there more to explore? Yes, uh, we extended our capabilities by a lot. Our leadership uh, denies us uh, X-rays, for example. And, uh, well, we don't have uh, legal restrictions now, so we have X-ray, of course. And that means you can put your character to the X-ray and get an X-ray yes. picture of your character? Awesome. What else do I find there? We have everything that has always been denied from us. Not only uh, X-ray, but uh, CT and MRT. We have an airport uh, and we have various kinds of uh, labyrinths users can get lost in. And um, I've heard since uh, day two there are badges available. Does the CERT provide badges as well? Yes, 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 yes. We have badges. We have a lot of badges. Uh, you... We have provide uh, different quests you can uh, do in the third, or third maps at all. And uh, we have uh, badges you can get with simple quests like uh, finding our Rupert in the lake or checking our uh, fire extinguishers or escaping the cube. Okay, and now um, you can relax and sit back because everything is done? Well, I, I wouldn't say so because... There is always something to do, as you as usual at chaos events, and we are always adapting. Basic workflow is uh, someone has a, a stupid idea, and we say, "Of course, we <laughs> do it." What is your favorite thing in the map? Ooh, we have so many awesome things, but I believe the Windows desktop is uh, quite unique. For me personally, I like our our uh, blue screen. We have a blue screen uh, hidden somewhere, and. I like that very much. Uh, if you think back, what was the most difficult thing to implement? Well, I think the most difficult we have right now is our Passagerschein A38. 
it's it's mainly about um, running around to get the infamous Passierschein A38. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Quantum and Dein Cooks, for your time. Wow, that was very awesome. Thanks, Heavy and Quantum and Dein Cooks, for that. I'm I'm totally in awe that you have a virtual X-ray machine and an was that an airfield or an airport or a helipad? What size does that have? It's huge. <laughs> It's huge. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's see if we can if we can get those for real for the next physical congress. That would be quite something behind the Leipzig Congress Center, a little airfield there. Um, by the way, we have also found another couple of cool spots in the world. Um, for example, uh, there's a hidden labyrinth in the kitchen. We're not going to show you where it is, but uh, you are a smart and good-looking audience. We are pretty sure you'll find that in no time. And uh, one more tip. Try to explore the hidden features of the phone operation center, the POC. That's all we're going to say for now. And now on to the Fahrplan. Set to the creatures aren't your thing. Maybe the third 3D creatures are yours. Coming up next is a talk by three members of the third with some update on the health IT. If you are more into art and culture, you can enjoy a visual concert, Trilight, broadcasting ice sculpture. That sounds pretty amazing. Both the talk and the concert will start at 7 p.m. Thank you very much. And I think that was it. For now, we will leave, but be sure it's no end. The Herald News Show comes back at 8 p.m. In the meantime, make sure to check out the third You're always welcome, my credible nerd. <laughs> Wonderful. Everyone, take care and see you soon. Bye-bye. And I like that very much. <laughs> Ist jetzt nicht wahr. <lacht> das war der Klingel. <lacht> <lacht>